So this is the new head on. Um, with talking of all the bolts, I just do a, a basic a gasket um, pattern, which is always a cross pattern. So here, 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 out there, out there, out there, out there. Um, these, this isn't torque to spec at the moment because I don't know what the spec is and my torque, torque wrench is broke. But it's torqued enough to tell us what's going on if we run it. Um, I'm still slightly concerned now about the carb fitting. Oh no, it seems... I, I need to double check if if I need to put the carb on so it'll sit kind of there. The carb, I think it'll fit. Um, we probably need to remove this airbox system I think if we were going to put a pancake filter on but I think John would prefer the round our rear panels they, they do look good on this anyway so uh, you, you'd you'd basically be converting it to a an earlier model not not properly um, but you know that's kind of what you'd be doing so uh, yeah again I, I'm not this isn't a how-to because I don't have the expertise for this so this is more of a, this is what I'm doing on John's bike. Uh, the head is down. I, I feel like I want to spin the engine over. I think if I pop the uh, cover off, I can spin it by hand. I should probably set it to top dead center anyway and set all the valves. Well, yeah, I will actually have to do that, won't I? So let me get it to top dead center and check that there's nothing fouling or there's no issues with the compression. And uh, from there, it will be a um, exhaust back on and I'm going to get one of the carbs put on because I've got both carbs here still but I'll get one put on and then I will um, get one of them put on and then I'm not going to fire it today because it's Easter Sunday so it will be uh, firing it up at a, at a different stage there actually uh, Tuesday, Tuesday but you guys will get to see and hear that now one thing I noticed about the uh, the, the cables is that they're not the right cables for this for this uh, housing because that should sink in um, so uh, that wouldn't have helped or there should be a top hat in there uh, a um... oh there's one on there oh that doesn't make sense at all there you go a top cap so uh, if I was trying to run it like that then uh, no wonder it wasn't running very well so I'll use this card with its correct top hat for basic adjustments that one I'll get rid of in a minute I'll just put it away don't worry about the second line at this stage because ultimately we can just take the second line out and just run it off one you don't need to do any changes there so uh, again not my expertise uh, these bikes at all I really don't I don't have much of a clue about them but I'm just giving it a shot out of curiosity if, if I'm being completely honest uh, and it's fun it's a nice day today uh, Gary was here, Rab Jeb's here, it, it's at least something fun to do. The next day. So, it's the next day, it's Easter Monday. Um, yesterday we got to the point where I put the new, the front valves on. And the, the valves sprung a couple of times and then they just stopped. Uh, to the point where the push rods were almost bending. Um and not pushing the valves. So I think I need to take this new head off, pop all the valves out, clean them all up, make sure they're all functioning, and then pop them back in before I carry on doing anything else. Uh, the truth is there is no kind of, there's nothing really to do. Um, uh, this is great, I really want to do this anyway, but there's nothing else to do, which is why I'm focusing on this today. And Rabjab likes to get out, so, you know, he'll be down. With the CB, I'm gonna do the two new rims, and I'm going to attempt to spoke them myself and tune them. Uh, Gary apparently has done it before in his country. So Gary has some experience in uh, the spokes, which is great. I didn't realize. John also, I think John might pop down in a month or so. He might come to the next Kempton Park. So that'd be cool. So new handlebars, new uh, wheels, and then it'll be absolutely ready to kind of put back um, together as a full bike uh, but yeah so I am focusing on this today but with again with not that much filming it's not a tutorial I'm not good enough at this to do a tutorial and you've seen the valves removed before I'm also suffering massively with hay fever even, even though I've taken a tablet has anyone really suffered with their hay fever this weekend on the East, Easter weekend I bet there's loads out there thank God guys sometimes I really worry about my ability to do this 
look, clear issue, clear issue. Um, because, uh, like I said, I you know I worry. I think shit, what's going on? This this is all together. It's normal. Why is it not functioning? But I've got uh, I've got all the tools to do this. So I'm gonna pop this off, clean up all the valves, um, put them back in, make sure they're all loose, and carry on. I was tempted to put the new valves and the new springs from the other heads on, but John said best to just clean these up and use them. I think he probably makes sense. I'll also do it one at a time so that we're all back in the same sleeves. Um, yeah, but I'm glad that I'm not going nuts. There's obviously an issue there. This valve has uh, stuck open, and then that means this one would have not fully opened or stuck closed. I'll also have to double check these valves. I only ever spun it by hand, so not too much should have gone wrong, but they may have bent. If they have bent, I'll swap them over to the other ones and I'll grind the new ones in. So, in some ways, really pleased there because there's blatantly an issue I was worried about my ability to get this done. And in other ways, uh, we have to just check. Although, like I said, we've got all the parts there over there. I'm not too worried about that, actually. So again, not showing, you know, the full process because you've seen it before. But that valve was rock solid. And after a bit of cleaning, you know, it's, look. Um, and actually, I had to tap it out gently with a hammer. It's not bent. I've triple checked that. Um, but it just all needed cleaning up, as, as did the springs. So one at a time, I'm going to go around and do that um, before putting it back on the bike because uh, because there was a clear issue there, but that should be gone now, uh, which is great. It's nice process this on my own. I know I've been saying that quite a lot recently, but there is the odd day where I, I do like to just be on my own. I've got music on in, in lightly next to me, and um, you just get on with things. You don't have to worry about entertaining or chatting. Uh, I, I have no doubt Rav will turn up at some point, but I might ship him off quite quickly. I'm, I'll, I'll see how I feel at that time. Uh, I normally, I've always got time for Rav to be fair. So the TR6 head is back on. Um, no issues with fitment. It, uh, online it says you have to have the exact same year. I don't actually know what year this came off, but I know that it's a later engine to 69 to 70. Uh, four or something but this is a 73 so and I know that the head said the same thing 69 to whatever 74 75 but it said online you have to have the exact year for fitment um, I don't think that's right unless I've got extremely lucky and got a 73 head there from a 73 bike and we've got a 73 bottom although saying that we're not out of you know we're not there yet because um, this isn't up and running I'll oh, know now once I put the, the cams on the cams the um valves on uh or the what what would you call that the the top part the push no it's not the push rods i don't know but um once i put them back on and uh and adjust the engine then i'll be able to see if it's kind of functional what you do is you go to top dead center see which one has less slack in it and you tighten that one go back round 360 do the other side and you do the same on the back which one's not got much play in it adjust that one turn it all the way around and do it again you got to be careful with the second one that has lots of play because it could fall off the push rods so you've, you it's a real kind of fiddly pain this system but it, it is manageable as get the bottom ones on first the push rods get them seated turn the engine keep your fingers on the top make sure they're lifting with the engine and then basically um, you put the top on and you look in with a light to make sure the balls kind of sit in where they should be. Uh, it's complex, uh, but it, people have been doing it for many years successfully. So I'll just show you what's happening because I thought they were both set. I set that one really well actually. Now look. I think that push rod's come off. So this this valve's great. I'm, I'm turning the engine over by hand. Yep, that's doing exactly what it should. And then the push rod on the other side isn't turning at all. So um, it's fallen off the, the bottom, I think, rather than the top. Now at the moment, to set it all, I've just been putting the front middle bolt in and these two rears, so that because I'm actually setting the uh, adjustments every time as well, which, by the way, is, is taking ages because of this problem, the push rod issue. Uh, it's very hard, if the, if the push rod's not moving, which it's not, then it's the bottom 
end that it's probably fallen off so you've got to take this off again try and reset it and try again and it's a bit of a constant uh, cycle here um, the other thing that happened slightly differently on this occasion was that uh, the second valve was compressing before I was round one more spin um, so I'm not quite sure why uh, I don't know why that happened because uh, the, the left one was tight it did work briefly and then the right one was tight before we got to top dead center uh, so I'm not quite sure so if I was looking at the top this one now which we know is look so let me get it to its top dead center because it's close here tiny bit more Tiny adjustment. So then we would adjust this one now. Um, but I was, it was already pressurizing before, so I don't quite know what's happened there. But um, yeah, pop it back off, see if I can get them both set up again and go back to where we were. So I just did the same thing again. I set the front right and I watched the rod on the left fall off. So it did one circle and then it fell off. I'm wondering if there's something about it not being pressured on the rear end. Is it something to do with the lower cam? So basically, do I need to put both tops on before attempting it? Does that somehow keep the rods, the second rod under tension? I'm gonna try that, but I'm not, I'm not sure. When, when you look online, it's normally valve adjustment. It's normally got all four. Yeah, it's on both heads on, so. Um, don't know, but I'm going to try that next because this is driving me nuts. Uh, again, I've lined up the push rods again. Again, I can get them to seat because you can see it seated. But once I spin the engine to adjust one valve, the second push rod, even though it's doing something in there, is, um, is literally falling off. And I don't quite know what the answer is there. So, this is my last attempt before giving up. Um, at least today giving up today but um, I didn't see one person online put on one and set them they always put on both and set them they also did something with the valves here where they lowered them all but not kind of touching so maybe that can stop the, the rod falling off and the last thing they did was they put a touch of grease on the bottom to create some sort of suction so I think I've done everything to my ability now where I should be able to set all four valves um, now they don't look at top dead center at all so I'm not going to as well they just basically get one of these down at its most at its lowest and then you set the other one so that's what I'm gonna do uh, so when this one's at its lowest, this one should also be at its lowest. So I'll set, um, with, you know, the two opposites on that. Um, my guess is that one of the push rods will fall off again and, and I'll be swearing. And uh, we'll be back to square one. And if that's the case, I'm going to push it in and go home and chill out. And John can help when he's here next time. Uh, I do think this is the right way forward with this head conversion. But... These bikes are just so picky. The push rods and this and that, and they actually really put me off. Classics, uh, you know, the Honda's brilliant. It's all designed really well, actually. These things, some people love these engines. They call them some of the best engines in the world. I, I can't see it. You know, I, I'm starting to really dislike old Triumphs, actually. Um even when they're working at their best, they're not. <laughs> I'm sure many of you will disagree with me out there, but I like an engine that kind of makes sense, and this engine just doesn't. It just, if you have to spend hours trying to get push rods seated, then it doesn't work for me. Whereas on a Honda, you can just set a cam on a chain and you're off. Anyway, that's me moaning. Let's see if I can get these set up.